Chantel Fight Week finally upon us. The talking's nearly done, but we're here now to do the first face-off for Fight Week. Many face-offs you've just done with Katie Taylor just then. When you look around here, this arena, and you, you soak in your first impressions of the free arena here in Dublin, what are your thoughts? When I walked in, it's just goosebumps because I think Saturday night is just going to be the ring, me and Katie going to let the fist go and all the talking's over, like I said, and just can't wait now. It's, it's real now. Walking into it makes it feel all that more real, so it's going to be good. I know you've always visualised the fight in your mind throughout the whole of training camp, but like you just said here, being here now, the visualisations that you've had in your mind, can you see them even clearly standing here where the ring's going to be? Yeah, it feels like, even now, like I feel it in my, in my bones. I'm, I'm excited, I'm really excited because I'm standing here thinking Saturday is where they're literally going to be getting down to 10 rounds of action. I asked Katie when she looked in your eyes, did she see a fighter who was ready? Um, can you tell us how you're feeling and, and looking into the eyes of Katie Taylor? I guess it just gets the juices flowing, doesn't it, that bit more? Yeah, more than ready, more than ready. I'm uh, raring to go. Same with Katie, look into her eyes. She's, she's ready, this is her homecoming. This is fighting in front of her people and she's going to be bring, it's going to bring the best out of her and definitely the best out of me. Her prediction is a simple one. She says the skill will prevail. When you think about this fight and you think about your own natural advantages, your, your skill set that you have, what do you believe will be the difference between the pair of you on Saturday? My work rate. My work rate, my work, uh, my work rate is going to be too much. Too much, too much pressure, too strong, too big and just a nightmare to be in the ring with. I'm sure you thought about this, Chantel, and it's probably not something you're trying to think about too much to put unnecessary pressure on your shoulders, but what's the message that you've got in your own mind? If you win this fight, what does that mean for Chantel Cameron, do you think? So for me, it's I'm going to prove to everyone I'm the best female boxer there is, and I'm coming into Katie Taylor's homecoming, her backyard, and I'm, I'm, here, to, I'm here to take the win, and I'm here to really beat her up when I'm in that ring as well. What you just said there is is quite poignant, I think. And I was talking to Nigel Travis earlier, and he said, uh, I think when you first saw Katie, you were like, oh, there's Katie Taylor at the press conference and stuff. The respect has to go out the window now, doesn't it? Definitely. Like, I'm, I'll always respect her. Like, now as well, there's no disrespect, nothing, no bad mouth in that. But it comes to fight night, I'm there to beat her up, I'm there to win, I'm there to take my, my belts back to Northampton. Then today, a switch goes off in me, and at the moment, it's all right. It's okay being in here. and... It's empty, but even that's giving me goosebumps thinking the ring's going to be a Saturday, but comes a fight night, I'm, I, yeah, I'm going to do everything I can to win and all means necessary. And yeah, she's a skillful boxer, but I know for a fact it's going to be too much for her. She's going to regret calling me out and taking the challenge against me when she could have had an easier fight. So all respect for her for picking me, but it was a bad decision. There's 10,000 fans who are going to be walking into this arena on Saturday night, full of pints of Guinness, expecting a celebrationary style homecoming, ready to ruin the party on Saturday, Chantel? Oh, 100% I'm here to ruin the party. Chantel, can't wait for this week. Officially underway. Chantel Cameron, Thank thanks so much for your time.